soils where the food begins because if there is no soils there is there is no possibility to produce food that soil is not a dead resource it's a living system nutrients are a fundamental part of a system and we can just mirror human beings human depends on nutrients macro and micronutrients soil has its own reservoir of nutrients but as a dynamic system these nutrients are taken by plants and then they need to be replenished in the system so a healthy soil has the system in function in order to continue with this process and keep having, having its, its reservoir of nutrients the problem sometimes is that the knowledge on how to handle those nutrients is not very well taken or is really shared by the users. We have seen that there are some separate initiatives going on, but we would like to really join forces in order to uh, have a partnership that could bring the uh, soil issue at global level and advocate for the promotion of sustainable soil management. Two very important channels that we have seen that could play a role in 2011 were the proposals for establishing a World Soil Day and an International Year of Soils as the main platforms of the Global Soil Partnership but also of the Global Soil Community to raise awareness and advocate for the promotion of sustainable soil management. I understand that there are people, there are various methods in which you can use organic or inorganic nutrients, okay? That is not the issue per se. The importance here is that we need to apply knowledge, a wise knowledge, so that we take wise decisions in how we manage our soils. When humans go to the doctor, they go to a, they run a number of analyses to understand the different indicators of their health. That is exactly the same with soils. We need to first understand what is the condition of the soils in order to see how we will tackle those issues. There are new modern techniques that are trying to reduce the intensity of those analyses because they are also quite expensive and that's why many farmers, they don't go for it. One example is the Soil Doctor program of, in Thailand, for instance. They start with the principle of soil health. So they have to uh, uh, develop capacities to have farmers who are the doctors of soils. So what they do is that they visit the farms of their colleagues and they, with a very simple soil kit, they try to see how are they, what is the status of soils. And based on that, they develop a number of techniques that could try to address the fa their findings.